Hello, I'm Jan Carabeo with your digital news brief for Saturday, September 23rd. Weather is the big story this weekend. Meteorologist Tammy Sousa is here with your next weather alert. Tammy. Oh, well, we are looking now at the tropical storm of Philly, which has made landfall pushing the rain and the wind in our direction and coastal flooding. So we're going to be looking at two to five inches of heavy rain. That is between when it started pre-dawn today through tomorrow evening. And localized flooding is going to be possible at times. High winds today, especially 60 mile an hour wind gusts down the shore, 30 to 50 to even 40 mile an hour wind gusts across Philadelphia and the suburbs. And we're going to be looking at that coastal flooding. The problem is, is we have a surge that'll come in, a one to three foot surge. Now, much of this is going to come in at three feet on top of a high tide, and that will be mid afternoon today. So we could be looking at a four to five foot surge above ground level, and that is going to be a problem down the shore where they are looking at a major coastal flooding event for lots of the area down the shore, especially the roads, the back bay. Here we are looking at our future cast. As we move through the morning, we are going to get some breaks. I think that the model is a little bit shy of the rain. I think we'll have a bit more rain than this, but we will get some breaks. And then we're going to get another pass of heavier rain coming in late this afternoon and this evening through about 7, 8, 9 o'clock. By 11, we'll see scattered showers, a few little breaks in that. We start tomorrow morning between about 3 and 7 with another push of steady to heavy rain. That continues into midday tomorrow. And then by tomorrow evening, we'll start to see things taper off. We could see some lingering showers on Monday. It's just uh, dependent on how fast the remnants of Ophelia move out of here. And it looks like then we will start to clear on Tuesday. Here's the track. Ophelia made landfall near Emerald Island, North Carolina. It will remain a tropical storm until it approaches a, the D.C. area. Then it should downgrade into the remnants and then it should start to curve across our area. Nonetheless, we are going to be looking at all of the impacts and this is Monday by the time it crosses the area, still pulling in some of that moisture off of the Atlantic with rain. We're going to look at travel delays out there for today. That's pegged on high, and we're looking at power outages. They're going to be moderate because of the winds, especially down the shore. Those are the areas we would expect to see it the most. Sports will be delayed. In fact, all outdoor events will be delayed or canceled. And there could be some flying debris with any of these gusty winds. Take a look quickly at our tides today. <clears throat> Atlantic City at 225 this afternoon, when you add the surge to the tide, again, that is above four and a half feet above ground level. Cape May and Wildwood, both about 230. 31 and 248. For the next three days, we're going to be looking at a soggy stretch. Today, the heaviest of the rain, the highest of the winds. We have a next weather alert issued for today. Tomorrow, 68 with some scattered showers periodically, and then 66 on Monday with just some showers, I think mainly in the morning. But for today, it's going to feel raw and windy. It will not feel like the 60s, it'll feel like the 50s. Jan? All right, Tammy, thank you. In other news today, police are trying to find out who shot and killed one man and left another injured in the street in Philadelphia's nice town neighborhood. You're looking at video from Germantown Avenue and Hunting Park Avenue from overnight. Police say an officer saw two men unresponsive in the street there. They were both rushed to the hospital where one died. Officers are hoping that surveillance video in that area will help solve that case. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy and other lawmakers are now calling on Senator Bob Menendez to resign. That's after he and his wife were indicted on bribery charges. The extensive indictment against Menendez alleges that he and his wife traded political favors with three New Jersey businessmen. In return, he was allegedly gifted gold bars, hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash, and a Mercedes-Benz convertible. Menendez insists he did nothing wrong. And remember, you can always get the latest news headlines and weather right here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. I'm Jan Carabao. Have a great day.